Hey everyone, this is Jason with Tech uh, at ExpoCAD, and today we're going to walk through the help menu so you can see all the help, help, self-help options that we've built into the system for you. All right, the first we're going to take a look at is help graphics. Inside of help graphics is a 278 PDF uh, that you has all of the questions that you might basically have about how things work. You know, just a, what is a max fit and how do you use it? If you follow the blue links that are available in there, anything you see in blue, like so is clickable. And these all refer to the various menus that are inside of ExpoCAD. So if you're looking at something in the booth menu and you hit booth, it'll take you down to that booth selection there. And then it'll show you the icon that's in there as well as the name. So if you click max fit, it'll take you down to that max fit section. It'll tell you what this does. It'll show you a base level on how to install it and tell you what all of those icons in there. And this is basically for anything you can see in the event layer of ExpoCAD, and that's where all of the booths are at and all that kind of stuff. So if you had other questions about maybe the event and you wanted to see what the information page does, this will tell you all of the stuff about the information. Uh, that's the graphics, help graphics. Next is help financials. Inside the help financials page is a 58 page PDF that will show you everything inside of financials. Unfortunately, this is a little shorter, so it doesn't have those blue hyperlinks, but it does show you what each of the basic, which each of the tabs do. So if you had a question about how to do billing cycle, if you had a question about how to uh, add rate plans or request items or child exhibitors, all of those can be found in here. And both PDFs, since they are PDFs, if you were to hold Control F, you can search for uh, what is what you're looking for if you know the name. So you can just get those highlighted and then search out that way. Uh, the next one we'll take a look at is the Frequently Asked Questions page. Inside the Frequently Asked Questions page, you'll see some of the major questions that we're asked on a regular basis, especially by new users. Odds are pretty good at some point in your life uh, if using ExpoCAD, you're gonna see a locked booth. This tells you the two methods to unlock it, or you're gonna wanna change something on the drawing layer. This will tell you what the drawing layer is and how to access that. And that's the actual building, uh, or the VWF file that we have in ExpoCAD. So each layer of ExpoCAD events are the event layer, which is where the booth live, that's the graphics layer, and then the drawing layer, which is the VWF layer. There's a variety of different other answers in here, maybe how to initialize a new web event or how to print graphics out of ExpoCAD, or if you just needed to know something as simple as how to move a booth. Those frequently asked questions are located inside of here, which is accessed through your web browser. Next one we're gonna look at is the ExpoCAD community. Logging into the ExpoCAD community will take you to our community site. If you haven't already signed up yet, if you click on not a member of the ExpoCAD community group site, join now. This will let you fill out your profile here along with your uh, email address. Once you have this and you submit it uh, to the, the group site, one of us uh, in Tech at ExpoCAD will get that taken care of for you since we are the moderators of the site. And once you're in that site, you can then join up, uh, talk to other ExpoCAD users. You can see our major announcements like new releases and all that kind of stuff in there, as well as ExpoCAD universities. Next one is the remote support. Uh, if there's a situation where we can't answer the can't answer the email that you sent us just based on the verbal description alone. We're on the phone and we can't figure out exactly what it is, how to walk you through to do that. We might ask you to go to logmein123.com. That remote support takes you to the same way as just navigating via the web URL. It'll be a six digit code that you'll get from us. Then we'll be able to log into your computer and uh, take control of your keyboard and mouse when when necessary so that we can help you resolve your issue as quickly as possible. This way, when you give us a call, you can already be on this site. We can just cut that step down. The next one we're gonna take a look at is the customer support portal. Logging into this will take you to team support. Team support is whenever you, that is the ticketing site that we use. So whenever you send us an email at tech at expocad.com, this is where uh, that email is getting sent to us and that's where we as tech work on it. Uh, if you haven't created an account already, you'll just click create an account. Uh, if you do have an account already in the system, in this case, this is my test account. I'm going to log on just so you can see what this looks like. I can remember the password, which, why would I be able to do that? Now that I've signed on, uh, you can see that there are a variety of things you can do in here. Uh, one is the knowledge base, and this is the one that I, a lot of the questions a lot of the basic questions that you, uh, customers have, this is where we're gonna get the answers from. These are already answered questions uh, from a, an, a client that had already asked them at some point in the last three years. So maybe you wanna know how to restore an event. You just haven't done that before. That's available in here. If you want to unlock a tab, this will tell you how to unlock a tab. Some of the questions that you see in the frequently asked questions are in here as well, along with a variety of more. 
these are continually updated by us here in tech. So the it's all the numbers are always growing. So there's always more answers in here. So if you have something specific you're looking for, you can jump in here and do it in here. Uh, this is where you can also see all of your company tickets. So maybe you know that one of your colleagues uh, had a ticket solved by one of our techs, you know, maybe six months ago. You can just roll through here to that six month timer and then just click on that ticket and be like, oh, this is how we did it. It'll show you all of the organization tickets as well as all of your tickets. Uh, I'm just waiting for this to load. Ticket Expo CAD obviously has a lot of tickets. So I submitted a ticket and then I close it right here. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So if you click on the submit a ticket, not only can you send us a ticket via tech at expocad.com, but you can also submit a ticket via the customer support hub here as well. So let's just do a test one just so you can see what that looks like. So you've got that title in here. And we always encourage you to have a descriptive title just saying what type of area it is you're experiencing or what kind of question you have, not just help all exclamation marks. And if you know you're doing a DWG conversion to an ExpoCAD event, or if you have an audit error, uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, you can just put down general support. And then in here, you can put down the body of the text, maybe a description about what issue you're having. And you can also drag files, like screenshots of the DWG in question, and then submit that ticket. And then this will appear to us in Tech at ExpoCAD. And you'll see the subject name, the number, so you can use that for future reference if you maybe need to email us again or give us a call at 630-405-2075, as well as who it's been assigned to and the status of the ticket. So once this ticket gets taken up by somebody in tech, you'll see that that has been assigned to somebody and they are working on it. And then when you're done, uh, if they don't close a ticket for you, you can just close a ticket right here. You know, close this ticket and then it will appear in your close tickets tab and then you'll just sign out of here. And then the final part of this is if you go to, if, sometimes you might have an issue in your install of ExpoCAD that has already been resolved by our programmers and we might need, want to find out what version of the software you're on. We'll say, hey, can you tell us what version of the software you're on? And to do that, you'll go to help and about ExpoCAD. And this tells you about your install. It'll tell you who it's registered to, the company, as well as the serial number that you're assigned to. And if you're looking for that version number, it'll be right here. As of 1-21-2019, which is when I'm making this recording, 7.12.1 is the most recent version of ExpoCAD. So that's definitely what you're going to want to see. And if you see something else, uh, you can let us know. And we can get you the most recent version of ExpoCAD installed on your computer. All right. That's everything in the help menu. Uh, we've definitely built that out as much as we can to give you as much self-help support. So whenever we're not in the office or you just have to get that answered in a hurry, you know, it's right there for you. All right, so this is Jason at ExpoCAD uh, signing off. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.